Hi everybody, it's Kenny P, and this video is going to be a little different than the ones I typically produce. As you know, most of my videos uh, cover recumbent trike rides, but today I want to share with you a trike that I just bought. I want to go over some of the features of this trike, and I want to talk about some of the changes that I'm going to make to it in order for it to suit my needs. So let's take a look at this trike. What we have here is an HP Velotechnic Scorpion FS26. FS means the trike has full suspension, and 26 refers to the size of the rear wheel, which is 26 inches. I want to thank Zek, one of our Marima Sheepdogs, for joining me on this overview. So we're going to start right up here at the front of the trike. And as you can see, it has a uh, headlight. That headlight is internally wired to a uh, dynamo hub, which I'm going to talk a little bit more about. The crank set on this trike currently is a single crank with 155 millimeter arms. I'm actually swapping this out to a, uh, a crank set that has 170 millimeter arms. Uh, it's actually going to be a Schlumpf high-speed drive. Uh, that's a two-speed planetary drive. Uh, and in, there's a little tab on either side of the cranks on the Schlumpf. And uh, you actually hit that with your heel and it changes the gear ratios. One setting has a one-to-one -one gear ratio. The, uh, the, the Schlumpf drive comes with a 27-tooth uh, single uh, chain ring. And so one-to-one, -one, that'll be what it is, 27. And then on the other side, there's another tab. When you, when you hit that with your heel, it changes it to a 2.5 to one gear ratio, which will make the uh, front chain ring the equivalent of a 60 seven tooth chain ring. So uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty nice to get a better top end speed. And then on the one to one ratio side, it'll be better for uh, climbing. You notice up front here that this does have a color matching boom and this is going away. The uh, gentleman I bought this from up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, he was a lot shorter than I am. I'm six foot two inches tall. And so I had to order a new boom it should be here any day now and the boom i ordered is going to be in black now i did talk to uh, a representative from hp over in germany and they said they could try to match it because they do uh, paint these booms if, if you want it that way but they said it would probably be hard for them to get the paint you know matched correctly so i just ordered a black boom that has a really nice scale on the top and uh, i also ordered a boom without a derailleur post. This post right here, you would typically put a derailleur on. Of course, this trike's not going to have a, a front derailleur, uh, which it doesn't now, and I really don't think I'm going to need it to attach accessories to, so we got one uh, that didn't have this uh, derailleur post. One great thing about the HP trikes that I really like is this uh, suspension and also their uh, anti-sway bar and the uh, anti-roll bar. It's a very sophisticated suspension. You know, the Germans are, are pretty sharp on their engineering. The suspension uh, has two uh, McPherson struts. This trike has uh, 2.4 inches of travel. In comparison, my uh, the ICE FS26 that I uh, just sold uh, with its elastomer suspension in the front, only had 1.5 inches of travel. The Azub Tie Fly, which is another very nice trike that has a titanium transverse spring system in the front, also only has one and a half inches of travel. So this ought to be a pretty nice ride up front with the, uh, with the McPherson struts giving 2.4 inches of travel. I'm also going to mount uh, mirrors on each one of the king posts, and those are going to be the B&M uh, wide angle mirrors that are sold by HP Velotechnic, made specifically for this trike, and they're very, very nice. So, let's talk a little bit more about the Dynamo. And again, like I said, this has a Dynamo hub. Um, 
And uh, the, uh, the dynamo is, is pr producing power for the, for the lights when the trike moves. And this particular dynamo is one of the best. It's made by Schmidt's original Nabin dynamo, San uh, for short. And uh, it's a very reliable dynamo. It has uh, 30,000 miles between servicing and it has almost no drag, um, you know, when it's not in use. It does produce a little bit of drag when you're using, but again, this is one of the very best. So uh, we really like that. This trike also has uh, disc brakes. Uh, it has Avid BB7 disc brakes on both of the front wheels. The tires on this trike are the Schwalbe Marathon Plus. We really like those. Uh, they uh, you know, have great puncture resistance and wear resistance, and they, and they roll very well. And uh, we really like those tires. All, we always use Schwalbe tubes in all of our tires. They're just, we think, the best quality out there. They seem to hold their air the best. They have very nice um, all-metal valves. The valves on this trike are all Presta valves, and they come in two different configurations, Presta and Schrader. We're not going to go into that here, but... This one has Presta. You see this trike also has mud guards on all of the, the wheels. And, uh, you know, we like that. Keep, it'll keep some of the water and, and dirt off of us. So, on the uh, handlebars here, it has bar end shifters. And we're going to be adding a roll-off hub to the rear and ultimately these will go away and we're only going to have actually one shifter on this. We'll talk more about that in just a minute. We are going to add the wrist rest on here and so that's another addition we're going to make. And uh, the trike currently has the body link seat on it and this is a shell seat. Uh, this particular one has the uh, a closed cell foam pad on it but it also comes with a, an airflow mesh pad that's supposed to be even more comfortable. But I am going to be swapping out this seat. I've already ordered the uh, Ergo Mesh seat in the extra large size. It adds a little bit of length and width to it. And the only reason I did, I mean, I absolutely love the look of the body link seat. I mean, it, it makes the trike just look fast sitting still. Really nice look, but I use a, a side seat bag to keep my camera in and snacks and some other things. And so, unfortunately, the body link seat does not allow us to use a side seat bag mount. So I had to order the ergo mesh seat along with the, the uh, side seat bag mount and it'll have a seat bag mount on either side of the seat. So that way I can store those items that I, I wanna get to quickly, like my camera. As you know, uh, I shoot a lot of videos, so it's, it, I need to get to my camera quickly. The body link seat currently has the rear light attached to it, and I've ordered the bracket that goes on the ergo mesh seat uh, to attach the rear light to. Well, this trike has two different types of parking brakes. It has the uh, front parking brakes on each wheel that are engaged by squeezing the brake lever and pushing the tab. And it also has a rear parking brake that's engaged by this lever you see at the bottom here. Now, I prefer the rear parking brake, and I'll tell you why. When a rear parking brake is engaged, I can just come back to the rear wheel, I can lift the trike, and then I can move it. And it's very easy. If I want to do the same thing with the two front parking brakes engaged, then I have to disengage each brake and move the trike and then re-engage the uh, brakes. But for me, it's much better to have this rear uh, uh, parking brake. It's operated by that lever or lever and goes back to this V-brake that's currently on the trike. Now, uh, I'm planning on uh, utilizing a disc brake, rear parking brake, when I install uh, the new hub on this bike. The trike has what's called a no squat suspension system. In, in the rear on this particular trike, 
it has a uh, spring. The spring that came on this trike has a uh, spring rate of 550 pounds per inch, which means it's good for uh, you know a payload of about up to 243 pounds. I weigh 220 pounds. I'm six foot two inches tall. So with my panniers on here and a little bit more gear, I would be probably exceeding the weight of this spring fairly quickly. So I ordered another spring. It's here, it's here. 650 pounds per inch is the spring rate on it. And the payload now goes to 309 pounds on the trike, which is the maximum that this trike can carry. They even have a lighter spring that will uh, work for riders up to, or a payload of up to 176 pounds if you're a small person not going to carry much on the trike. So there are three different springs available for this. I will be swapping that out. I also have already gotten the uh, rear rack that goes on the trike, so I'll be installing that. And right now, this trike has a SRAM dual drive system on the rear wheel, which means it has a three-speed internal hub that is attached or works with a nine-speed cassette, which gives me three times nine is 27 speeds right now on this trike. These internal hubs, the, du the SRAM dual drive, they stopped producing these in 2017. I'm actually going to put a roll-off uh, speed hub on this trike. And so we're going to be getting rid of the dual drive. And also, instead of having, like we said before, the two bar end shifters, we're only, going, we're only going to have one shifter now, and it's actually going to be the roll-off grip shifter. And the roll-off internal hub has 14 speeds. And so we're going to have now 28 speeds with the Schlumpf high-speed drive. Again, it has two speeds in the front, so that gives, will give us a total of 28. The nice thing about the internal hub is that you can shift gears while you're sitting still, so you don't have to be moving like you do with a typical derailleur system. But anyway, we're going to be replacing this one. We're going to a roll-off speed hub. It's kind of an interesting configuration for this trike because it has the SRAM dual drive, but it has a Shimano Dior rear derailleur. Uh, anyway, it works. So, I'm really excited to get out and ride this truck. I haven't even ridden it yet uh, because of the uh, fact that the front boom has been cut. It's just too small for me. And so we're looking forward to getting on it. The part should be getting here any day now. The, the rest of the parts, some have gotten here. We're still waiting on a few. One's the boom. And we're putting those on here and we'll be taking it out for many, many, many rides, and you'll be seeing it in a lot of our videos. One thing I forgot to mention about the HP Velotechnic Scorpion FS26 is that the trike does fold, so I'll be able to you know, uh, easily put it into all of our vehicles. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this overview, and I hope you like our videos. If you do, I hope you'll subscribe to the Bent Rider Nation YouTube channel. I also hope that you'll hit the uh, bell icon, which means that you'll get notified every time I upload a new video. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos that I produce. I hope you make it a great week, and I hope that I get a chance to ride with you very soon.